Hello and welcome to part 28 of my Pentagon Challenge. It's my third consecutive grand seri series grand final. Uh, it's quite an incredible achievement, but um, we are just in like we're simply one cut above the rest in the A League. Uh, you can just see when we last spoke, I think it was the opening game against Tangine here, uh, when we won 6-2. We have uh, beaten Perth Glory 3-1, Gambo Saka 3-0, Central Coast Mariners 4-0, Adelaide United 6-1, Sanju uh, two by two goals to nil, Central Coast Mariners again by six goals to nil, as you must say, Disray Hattrick, 3-2 against them again, and then 4-1 against Tanju. Like, do the maths, that is a sickeningly high level of goal scoring. And unfortunately our season comes to an end in two games we're gonna have to bring some new faces in uh, after these two games but for the time being I know we got one more game within our uh, our wavelength before we have that long holiday that the Australian clubs have uh, this is gonna be my starting lineup apart from the midfield this would probably be my uh, weaker side and uh, Ben Halloran on the right as well he's just so good this year um, I'll talk to you about his improvement later, but uh, definitely the set the lower, uh, the less fancied guys deserve a go here, and we're going for ten wins in a row. Like that is just amazing. Like it's a real shame that we don't get another chance to Champions League. Uh, like we're still red hot, but you know, uh, passionately. So we're at our home stadium again. Uh, just tell them go make the fans happy. But the thing is, uh, Football Manager 2013 is the main agenda. I think you're probably surprised I'm still behind on the times, but the fact of the matter is, I'm just I'm not really a person for beta testing. Like I would look at the beta to see if the League of Ireland was okay, but I'm sure it is. And then the A League to see if that little glitch I'm suffering from has been eliminated. But anyway, it's time for the final. And uh, the main thing is the subscribers. I need you to uh, help me out here. Do you want me to focus purely on FM13 when it comes out? Because, in my honest opinion, I'm no long. I'm absolutely not done. There's unfinished business with this game. I've never actually won any Champions Leagues in this Pentagon, and I didn't get to Serie A in the San Marino Challenge. That just feels like deflating. But if you want, if you enjoy these videos, let me know and I'll keep doing them as best I can. But if you don't, I'll uh, just go to FM13. You can leave suggestions of what I should and shouldn't do in the comments box. Um, and I'll get on to that and then just play FM12 by myself. Uh, and occasionally update you, like not, nothing too heavy. Um, that's why by Disarray. 10 minutes gone. This is the second time We've met Melbourne Heart in the grand final. Our very first one was, of course, against them. And they're here again after beating the Central Coast Mariners. who are understandably devastated. We stole the second leg victory against them. Matt Mackay at the last minute. Aaron Moy to Traore. That's a corner kick. Uh, basic match stats. Yeah, it's all us so far. And there was Remy Strait. Or Street, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Junk Slager getting hassled and harried there. Um, it's a free kick for Spagnuolo to take and he failed to deliver a good one. Could the nerves of a championship three in a row be getting onto us? Nobody has been so successful in the grand finals as us if we win today. Granted, uh, the league campaign, I think we have a victory of three titles, we only have two. Oh, that's deflected wide. Like, just everything's been working out for me this season. We've had no main major injuries. We've had goals like seeping out of our veins. And just the only disadvantage is the Champions League finals in November. And we've unfinished business with it because I was naturally disappointed that we had to go to Qatar to play a Qatari team. Um, like I just found that extremely infuriating. Um, we couldn't handle the occasion because it was basically an away game and we lost 4-2 but 
I think we are capable of mounting another assault on the AFC CL. But it's a matter of getting through the round of 16. It's a, it's basically it's a cup draw. You get home or away, and it's a one-off tie. Very, very uh, pressurising. Um, as for reasons why I haven't been uploading, number one, I've been very busy in college, and I've been kind of enjoying myself when we finished our first big assignment of the year. And second of all, FIFA 13 is just exceptionally addictive. It really is a lot of fun. I invest a couple of hours into it every day, as best I can. Every second day, if I'm busy. And football manager, just I'm been a little bit, oh, a little bit tentative about playing the saves. Like I haven't touched San Marino's save in a while because it's been the end of the season. But I'd love to pick it up in a day or two and maybe record a video. But uh, certainly FIFA 13, I've been doing some. Oh, it's one nil. Williams, I think that was a guy who was one for the future. Is it Ryan Williams? No, it's uh, David Williams, excuse me. 1 0 to the away team. Well, of all the games to lose, it, we're on course to lose now. But uh, certainly, I've been showing my ultimate team exploits. I'm probably the biggest hater of gold squads for the sake of hating them. And Aaron Moy is through, great save. Um, I just prefer to build bronzes and silvers because they're more likely to show the skill in the player as opposed to the skill of the team. Um, but then again, some bronze squads are just as good as golds. Like I've been losing a lot of tournaments uh, with my bronze squads against very, very good bronze squad teams. Uh, then again, I, I've just been playing a lot of single player to make coins and stuff. And then as for single player, offline play, oh, that's wide. Uh, I've been playing my, I've been playing a player career mode where I'm uh, basically a pro and I have to make my grade uh, as a player. Uh, and how that's doing, it's basically just, I want to build up my pro and have a bit of fun. So what I did was I picked uh, Man United to put my pro in so I could get the achievement for going out on loan and I've been put on loan to Chesterfield uh, doing very well scoring a lot of goals because I've only using pro difficulty as opposed to world class and legendary. It's been a very long half here, hopefully it's not dragging out but anyway um, I've just picked Chesterfield to go out on loan to, would have preferred the League of Ireland um, but anyway. My intention is to stay at Chesterfield, hopefully get on a good cup run in the FA Cup because I got both monitors in the third round and I'd love to recreate the 1997 uh, you know, cup run of Chesterfield. That was one of the great moments of British football in the late 90s. It was just incredible. Like I have no affiliation with either team like in the slightest and they put on an epic show they did in all Trafford. Uh, Middlesbrough and Chesterfield. A disarray! Oh, should have scored. Sorry about that. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so I'm nearly in January in my career. I'd love to stay at Chesterfield and get them into the Premiership with just controlling them one player and that sort of thing. Um, that's an injury for Spagnolo. He's gone. Oh, our luck is running out. Um, Spagnolo injured half time. Well, uh, yeah, Spagnolo is gone. We're gonna have to bring James Holland on. Not ideal in the slightest. Matt McKay is probably better to stick up there because he can play the position better. But anyway, uh, if I was to get a HD PVR or whatever for the Xbox, um, I would probably show how my career is going. But uh, the one thing, one thing I would love to do is, uh, you know, do a Barcelona or Real Madrid B career mode where you start off in the second tier of Spanish football, get them into the La Liga, and win the Champions League with the junior team. Basically, that would be absolutely hilarious to do, and I'd love to do something like that as well as of course League of Ireland because it's a lot of fun playing as those teams 
um, and making the success out of them. Uh, okay, so let's begin the second half. Uh, please load, please. Uh, oh, sorry, look at that. Yeah, there we go. Um, so, we are losing in the grand final at home, quite convincingly, like, bearing in mind there was a fluke goal. We've had 17 shots and very few have hit the target. Uh, we're going to have to think of more changes, but it's just a case of we're getting too cocky, we're getting too arrogant, and we're letting them control like our destiny really that's a good tackle by Troy he's out of position and Amarone has been lured as each by each Petreski oh it's 2-0 oh Neville Neville has buried that one um, that is devastating we've been completely thrown from our throne like this is ridiculous oh dear oh dear this is crisis situation now i just wasn't prepared for this i thought the guys deserved to go in the final but they've bottled it they've pure and simply bottled it gonna have to bring on nielsen no other alternative i'm afraid aaron moy looks pretty tired as well stick holland up there and garcia yeah yeah, this is very, very dire straits now. Uh, come on, we need a goal back. Melbourne Heart have just taken their chances a lot, lot better than us. And we need to wake up and smell the coffee. Uh, Marone to Holland. The goal now would be uh, would make things much, much easier on us. Because we know how to score at home and we know how to do it often. Marone can intercept there. Halloran, he's been a bit anonymous today, but just one stroke of genius from him is all we need. That's a corner kick. We don't really have the defenders able to score goals uh, playing today. Gonna make our too many changes now. Come on, we need to get a goal back. This is Nielsen, clear to Jungslager, Traore, Allera, Nielsen offside. Uh, I agree with that one. It didn't look, uh, it didn't look onside to me, even though I meant to be cheering on the team. That's Nielsen for two-one. Yes, 20 minutes to go. An injury for Bran, but this game is very much alive again. On the basis of our play, we really should be doing a typical 3-0, 4-0 job. Oh, I thought it was going to be 2-0 still for a second. Uh, 74 minutes played. Melbourne Heart have to weather the storm. Sorry for anyone in New York or East Coast of America. That was inappropriate. Um, but anyway, this is crunch time. Will we surrender our grand finals without a fight? Or will we get it to a 2-2 or better? That's a poor ball. Richard Garcia is probably going to take his final hurrah for Gold Coast as he's going to retire. Uh, he's been a real servant and I miss him a lot because he was there. He was struggling in the year of Mate Dugandic and here he is! Oh, just a better touch was necessary. He was really struggling to make a mark in the team when Matty Duganzic was here. Um, but now, then when he left, he really stood up and made the position his. And then Ben Halloran, I wanted to give him a chance and he's really taken it with open arms. So I'm going to have to find the right midfielder who will be good enough for the team, but one that will challenge Ben Halloran like except that he's going to be the backup to start but he could challenge Ben Halloran in the future here Melbourne Hart on the ball a goal has got to come from somewhere I'm afraid we're going to have to take put it all in line this will be 3-1 and game over no says Michael Morone Michael Morone very much a trendsetter he does what he wants Nielsen for 2-2 that's a great save Mackay kept it in and eventually 
Oh, it's a goal kick. Wow. Big, big call. And it's probably the right one. Jung Sagar with the free kick. Saved by Pearson. And you can hear the fans. They pack out the ground, the grandstands once a year when they really should do every day or every week. But now they expect, they don't want to see us lose like this. We have been playing very, very well. Nielsen is again putting the ball in the back of the net, but he's offside for the second time. Oh God, five minutes to play. It's all Gold Coast. But it's not going to be enough. We were too cocky in our defence. The young guys have just failed to really make a name for themselves today. It's hard to play in your first finals. Two young fellas without a bit of support from an experienced player. But it's not been that kind of day. That should be a clearance for Behic. He put it way into Rosehead. And game over it's just that sort of thing we can score in the last minute when we want to but Melbourne Heart just seem like they're too good to be broken down today they are inspired particularly the goalkeeper he's been very good three minutes of stoppage time and we're gonna go all the way it's Junkslager Marone clearance that should be the ball for throw in Melbourne Heart the title is lost nine consecutive wins for nothing here unless Williams gives the ball away but he doesn't Bosniak deflection couldn't get it to Garcia couldn't get it to Holland Williams versus Strett it's a corner um, I can't tell how many minutes have been played because of the fraps frames per second yoke but I presume it's 92 and 45 seconds it's really the last gasp moment now Nielsen is being just surveyed like a hawk by the defence and Williams to get it back Lolois Pearson, Bosniak, Neville we haven't taken our chances and we've been beaten we've been beaten at home in the grand final uh, well, that was totally out of the blue but Juma said this race four goals meant nothing because he didn't score today and Melbourne Heart are the surprise grand final winners that is just the cruelty of the grand final scheme um, uh, it just had to happen eventually didn't it but I think Henningberg deserves some sort of trophy for his hard work at Melbourne Heart getting them from zeros to heroes just like I did with Gold Coast but it doesn't really <laughs> like we do get the Champions League football again next year but I probably won't be here for it anyway so it's not the worst thing that could have happened but it's not the most uh, it's not the ideal thing either so there we go that's the end of that we've lost our very first grand final our third one uh, in a row we've we've uh, lost it but we have qualified for the uh, Champions League as the uh, league finals winners and um, that's an interesting guy oh he's pretty good too expensive so uh, that should conclude this episode um, I'll just uh, come back for the round of 16 game should it be anytime soon don't know who will get yeah the second round yeah that should be interesting we don't know who we'll get but that is a big blow and uh, thanks for watching the episode just uh, two things to want to mention first of all Ben Halloran show you how he's improved uh, he's played 22 games 8 goals 10 assists 2 man of the match like look at his average rating for every other year and see how it's shot up he's really uh, come of age now and second of all because I've given so many players a uh, raise um, I'm gonna have to consider giving uh, Robbie Brady a uh, marquee contract uh, because I've moved Matt McKay to Australian contract and Michael Thwaite to a regular contract so we're gonna have to think about how we're gonna avoid breaking the rules for next year but anyway thank you for watching 
a rather deflating episode and uh, hopefully if you want this series to continue on a f proper basis as opposed to sporadic let me know but uh, Football Manager 2013 out in a few days time which I will get as soon as I can um, so I'll have some ideas ready and some ideas can be given in so let me know thank you bye bye